Howdy folks, this is Big Sam. In a previous video, we took a look at some of these mosin Nagant parts that came off of a gun that was in a fire. And in another separate video, we took a look at one of the ways we like to remove rust. Which is... with one of these guys. Pretty good way. Um, especially this won't remove the finish of a nice brass or a bronze brush like this. Uh, now this we don't really care about. Uh, the bigger question here is not so much getting a little bit of surface rust off without, uh, you know, marring the finish. Here, um, I think the finish is pretty much gone. And this is a pretty good test case, I think, for another product that we're going to try, which is this. Evaporus. Now, I told you all this was coming, and I've been excited about this because this product has really good reviews. And as you can see, this works on everything from tools, uh, antiques, which I think, I think this counts as an antique, probably. Um, cookware. Hopefully, most of you won't consider this cookware. Um, the more imaginative of you might, and I'm... Maybe you can just keep that to yourself. Uh, hardware, I mean, automotive stuff, anything you could imagine, this is supposed to work for. And it's also non-toxic, so potentially um, we might be able to see this in a future episode of Badlands Chugs. You never know. Now, th this already off the bat, this shouldn't give me tuberculosis. And this is already far and away miles better than some of the other products I've looked at, which probably would give me tuberculosis. Um, safe, effective, simple. These are all things that people like me that aren't very smart appreciate. Um, it works without having to think about it, and I don't have to worry about uh, putting myself in a hospital and contracting some horrible 19th century disease. So what exactly is this? Well, as you can hear, it's a liquid. I think this is actually water-based. The idea is you take your rusty, horrible atrocity like we have here, and you dunk it, and you let it sit in this solution for, well, according to the directions. Now, I'm a man, so I don't usually read directions, but I will for the purpose of this video. It says uh, 1 to 12 hours, depending on the depth and age of rust. Uh, so on a scale of 1 to 12 hours, this is going to be um, three weeks, probably. Um, so we're, we're going to try that and just see how it works. So, but again, it seems like it just sort of depends on how badly rusted your object is and how deep it is. 1 to 12 hours. So we're going to soak this guy. Um, what we're actually going to do, and it does say 65 degrees, so... One of the issues here is here in Colorado in December, it's pretty cold outside, so I can't put this outside. And because I have to put this inside, you know, I don't want it to smell up the house or, you know, give my family members some horrible disease. And this probably won't, so that's good. So this is going to be inside, and what I'm going to do is take some of these objects and we're just going to soak them. We'll come back and look at them after like an hour and if, it, you know, if, if we need to soak it more, we'll come back it in like a couple hours up to maybe 12 hours. So what are we going to be soaking? Well, obviously this magazine body, um, this was just sort of an interesting thing. I kind of wanted to see what it'll do. This was in a fire, right? So it's not necessarily something that we would want to use, but it's interesting to keep around. And, well, we're just going to see how it does. There's also this floor plate, which isn't quite as bad. Um, and again, we're just putting some test objects in here. And here's another thing. This was not in a fire. This is actually a mosin Nagant trigger. This particular one was made by the Remington factory in 1918. And as you can see, I mean, it's, it's not too bad. I mean, this is totally functional. It just doesn't look very good. The rest of the gun kind of mimics this, so I'm interested to see what, if anything, this evaporust is going to do to this. Maybe we'll dunk the whole gun in there. I, I, trust me, it kind of warrants it. Well, we'll just see. I've never used this product before, 
so I don't necessarily know what to expect, but let's be honest. I mean, if we're starting with this, uh, it's, it's not going to take much to improve this. So we're not setting the bar super high. Um, and it's, this is supposed to essentially just melt the rust away. It's also reusable, which is interesting. So it seems like you put it in here and it, the rust just sort of falls off of it. And then apparently you can then drain this solution to separate the rust that's been removed from this, ideally. Uh, and you can just reuse it again. So we're going to figure out if this actually works on guns and gun parts. We're going to try out the gun parts first. And if it works on that, well, maybe it'll work on guns too. All right. So let's get this poured out into something that we can set our uh, test objects in, uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I got my cap off. We're gonna go ahead and pour some into this container I got here. Slow not to uh, spill all over your wife's kitchen, where I'm sure you'd probably be doing this. All right, well, we're going to call that good for now. I'm going to go ahead and see. Oh, yeah, I mean, that fits perfectly. Look at that. So we're going to sit this guy in there. Try to make sure he's fully submerged, all right? Then I'm going to take my, my trigger right here. And we're going to sit here. Then I've got... This uh, follower, he's gonna go right in there. All right, I'm gonna pour just a tad more because the top of that's just poking out. Well, let's see if I can poke it down some more. Eh, actually, I think that'll be fine. Okay, so we've got this submerged now. So what we're gonna do is Kind of set it here, do a little bit of a time lapse, maybe. I don't know if we're going to actually be able to see anything change, if this is actually going to do anything at all. Um, but we'll we'll watch it and see. Um, and I'll try to fix it so where this lighting doesn't quite get in the way. Uh, and if y'all are wondering what it smells like, well, let's do the sniff test here. It, uh, hmm. Kind of smells like um, non-toxic chemicals. It, I don't know if that means anything to y'all. It does smell a little bit. It it sort of smells like some chemical solution, but it doesn't smell like bleach where, you know, you open it up and it just starts burning your eyes and you feel like you're going to die. Um, it's non-toxic, so that's good. All right. I'm going to take these gloves off now, and we're going to cue the time lapse, and here we go. Okay, so I may have misled you slightly. The time lapse that you just saw was not one hour or three hours. It was actually 18 hours. Um, now, here's why. This is the first time I've used this product, so I wasn't exactly sure what to expect, which is why we had a time lapse. So I let it sit for 18 hours because I was watching it, and it didn't really seem like anything was happening, and I wasn't sure if it, anything was supposed to happen. Because, uh, again, this is the first time I've used this product. And after 18 hours, it looked kind of the same. So what I did was I pulled I pulled out the magazine. And I s sat it in this tray for cleaning. Now, what's interesting is as I pulled the magazine out, a lot of the stuff just sort of fell off of it. And so you can look at it here. And a lot of the rust just is gone. Absolutely fantastic. You can see it's turned the water this really horrible color. 
Now I haven't looked at the other parts yet, so now we're, what we're going to do is look at the trigger. So I'm going to take this guy out here. I'm going to set it here in my, let's set this to the side here, my cleaning tray. All right. And now what I'm going to do is just see if I, did this, if I can wipe some of this off here. Wow. That is fantastic. This is way better. Oh, whoo! There's a little bit of a oily chemical smell there, which is good. That probably means it's working. All right, now if you remember that this kind of looked horrible, now it's actually looking a lot better. Again, what you do here apparently is after you let it soak for a while, just sort of wipe it off like this. And you can see this really horribleness that comes off of it. Um, the magazine was way worse. It was pretty nasty. And after you wipe this off, what's recommended is that you just uh, wash it off with some water. So uh, what I did with the magazine was just take it outside and wash it off with a garden hose really fast. But this is looking much, much better. All right, look at that. All right. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at our uh, magazine floor plate now. And again, I think that we can clean this up a little bit more, but um, I don't want this video to be too long. Now we can see here, okay, there's our rust, right? There's our orange horribleness. Get this guy here in our tree. Now the rest, I'm going to get a new patch. And what I'm going to do is just wipe this off. Look at that. Just comes right off. Amazing. This is rather nasty. But this is probably what you'd expect given that it was in a fire. All right. Yeah, you can see we're all getting all sorts of horrible things on this now. Now, I have much lower expectations for this. It's going to be very black in the end because it was in a fire. But we were able to get all that horrible rust off of it. And I think this is actually going to clean up fairly well. We can go ahead and take a look again at our magazine just to show you. <laughs> Yes, you are going to get very dirty, so please wear latex gloves when doing this. All right. You can see here with our magazine, all that horrible orange rust is mostly gone. There's some I haven't wiped off, but this looks way better than it did before. And it would have been a lot harder to clean this off by hand. So overall, I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, surprised and rather impressed by what we've been able to clean off with this evapo rust. And again, why I would recommend this is most people, um, you know, aren't going to have access to things like electrolysis, right, or, or some of the other really nice uh, methods for moving rust. A lot of people like to boil and card. Not everyone has uh, the quick and easy ability and access to these things, though. Evapo rust, this gallon, I just bought off Amazon for 20 bucks, and these trays were left over for dinner the other night, one of those TV dinner things. Easy, very simple, anybody can do this. So that's sort of why I would recommend this product. It seems to work fairly well. And we'll tr test it out on some more parts here in the future. See what the final cleanup is maybe later. Now, we'll have to do another test to see what this does to bluing. Because I'm not exactly sure 
um, if this is supposed to just take off the bluing or un uh, leave it, I, I would imagine it would do something to the bluing, if not take it off entirely. Now the parts that I put in either were in a fire, or this, um, this should have, the whole thing should be in the white. So this shouldn't have had any bluing on it. Um, so another thing we need to try at some point is maybe we'll have like a whole gun that needs to be thrown in here. Um, and the question is, well, can we do that without removing the bluing? So maybe that'll be a good follow-up video. But if you got parts that either don't have a lot of bluing or you just don't care about it, you want to get the rust off, this is definitely a good solution. Look at that. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing if you're interested in more Mosin Nagat content like this. Please let me know if y'all have any prayer requests, and I'll see you next time.